Hey yo, welcome back to another video. In this one, what I wanted to talk about today was, in fact, a new Persona game that I'm quite hyped for. And what is this new Persona game called? Well, it's Metaphor Refantasio. Like, bro, Makoto from Persona 3 Reloads in it, and Yunara Kami's in it. There's nothing to complain about. Just get it. What are you waiting for? Okay, joking aside, I'm self-aware that people have been kinda talking about this game as if it is a Persona game. Persona creators, of course, are involved, but there's a lot more to it than that. So, with that being said, I do want to say thank you to the people that are looking at the thumbnail and title and being like, this guy is, does not know what he's talking about, Persona fans, strike again! And I'm just the most self-aware person, so I just want to say thank you for the free promotion. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so getting into it, why I'm actually really hyped for Metaphor Refantasio is the fact that skateboarding's a thing, uh, or something like it. The traversal in the world of the overworld actually looks really fun, and it looks a lot more open than what you would find in a Persona game. I'd even argue it's more attuned to a Shimigami Tensei game, with how I guess open Nocturne in Shimigami Tensei 5 is, I go as far as to say that's how the open world overall feels in this game. And it looks like there's quite a bit of variety within this open landscape, especially because you're going to be traveling from place to place. They're really trying to hone in the fact that you're going on a mission uh, while also traveling with your companions through different areas, and honestly I am noticing within these trailers that you're starting to see different varieties within these areas and that's really dope to see like i'm really excited to actually feel really immersed within this game not only is there a variety of you know different areas in this game the combat system has something of a mix between it as well it's between a real-time combat system which also turns into a turn-based combat system which is really interesting to say the least i've never really seen a game do this before where you attack the enemy quite a few times before you actually engage into battle and then doing like a powerful attack right when you get into the turn based side of it and then what the turn based kind of side turns into is like a Shimigami Tensei 3 uh, iteration of that combat system which basically means you have to really strategize your tactics within this combat system because Shimigami Tensei 3 is pretty hard if you don't know what you're doing. <coughs> Matador and uh, Devil May Cry Man Dante coming at you uh, at the same time you gotta love that especially when you're trying to grind a few levels to take down M matador right right okay okay sorry uh, i'm just having a shimigami tensei 3 ptsd but it's all fine it's all fine but more so how this like combat system kind of goes is like it doesn't work how you, it works in persona uh, in the sense it's basically like you hit the weakness you gain another turn but it's not you know one more like it goes to your other party member that gives you another chance to defeat that enemy and then eventually your turns run out so it's not endless loop of just getting criticals and you know weaknesses i actually prefer this kind of strategy based thing that you're doing with a metaphor than sticking with the persona formula and making it way too easy to get through this game granted there is a retry button so there's not really like a fear of having a game over since you have that retry feature if like you know you definitely know you're not gonna win you might as well just retry the battle and start from the start and then start destroying the boss because now you know what every weakness for that boss is which honestly it kind of makes it easy because you don't get that like i guess defeated face like oh he killed me again uh how am i supposed to beat him uh instead you can actually try on air things i guess more so but it just kind of makes it easy because i i guess from like final fantasy 10 on the ps2 you'd get stuck on let's just say seymour's second phase and then you basically just have that dread of like oh my god he killed me again Screw you, Seymour. Granted, with even having a retry button, I do feel as though this game has more of a difficulty thing going on for it with the fact that the enemies can do the same to you. So, for instance, if the enemy gets a weakness, they get granted another turn and so on and so forth. So if you're not prepared for the battle, you basically can get wiped pretty easily, I would say. Just like an SMT3. One positive of the combat system I will admit is definitely a revolution. When the protagonist dies, the battle doesn't end. That's great news because holy crap. Like, you don't understand how many times, like, within a Persona game, like, you just think you can take on a boss and then your protagonist dies and you're like, Wow. While well, everyone else is just still alive, they might be a bit confused, but 
yeah, it, it just is aggravating most of the time when that does happen. And it's so cheap uh, that the enemy can just do that one hit that, you know, you have the wrong equipped persona on at that time and then <laughs> just blam and you're just dead. Everyone's been through it before. So there's another thing that's also added on with the combat systems, that, and that's the fact that you can level up your personas. Well, not in the same way, and I should be saying archetypes. I'm just adding in the personas because it's kind of basically that, but a bit more, I guess, complex in a sense, because the protagonist can basically switch and swap archetypes, which is really dope, and they're designed by a variety of different people, so it's not just like the same, I guess, demons that you find within uh, the the Shimigami Tensei series or the Persona series, like these are just kind of unique uh, to Metaphor, which is really awesome. Um, but they level up based on skill trees, which is a very interesting take on the system as a whole, because now if there is a crappy skill that you don't necessarily want, you can just skip it for the most part, unless there's like a buff that you really need that's in front of that um, skill that you really don't want. Well, I guess you're SOL. <laughs> Granted, I'm sure that there's much more of a different system in this game. I'm just presuming from what I've been through with other games that have had skill trees. Like, I'm kind of struggling with the one in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth right now it's it's so jank like you just kind of are just throwing stuff there and then hoping for the best that's what I've been doing it's kind of been working out but you know what I mean it's like skill trees can be good but I'm sure that they designed it well enough where you're not getting kind of like screwed over or thinking that you know what you're doing is kind of like a waste of time I think this is much more of a compelling uh, skill tree system with the archetypes than what you would find in potentially Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth and not to say that Final Fantasy VII Rebirth system's bad, I just feel like I'm just throwing skill points at whatever uh, right now because, like, I just started the game. Um, it could change, of course, when I get into, like, later battles or uh, data battles, for instance, but... With that being said, though, the last thing that's, like, super hype about Metaphor is the fact that you can pet the cat. Yes, you can pet the cat within... Uh, this chamber, which is really dope, which also, I think, corresponds with the whole, um, <laughs> archetype, um, <laughs> the whole archetype <laughs> abilities. <laughs> okay, joking aside, I'm just really hyped for Metaphor. I just pre-ordered the Collector's Edition, because, like, there's a lot in there, uh, me being a Persona fan specifically, and, uh, somewhat of a, a Shimigami Tensei fan, um, I, I will say I didn't really get past, uh, Shimigami Tensei 5, which may be my next video. Does anyone care about Shimigami Tensei 5? But anyway, with that all being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.